Welcome to our beloved mission, Santa Maria, known as the Heart of the South, a land rich in tradition, culture, and beauty. From the rolling and endless pampas to the high plains settled by German and Italian immigrants, Zion is being established through the tireless and dedicated efforts of the wonderful missionaries called to serve here. The Brazil Santa Maria Mission is located in the Brazil's southernmost state of Rio Grande do Sul. The mission was created on July 1, 1998, from areas that were previously part of the Porto Alegre North and Porto Alegre South missions, and borders on both Uruguay and Argentina. The mission headquarters is located in the city of Santa Maria. When the mission was organized, it comprised of 62 units, 6 stakes, and 4 districts. Duane Herman Zobrist was called as the first president of the new mission together with his wife and companion Sharon Ann Jones Zobrist. President Zobrist dedicated and consecrated the mission with Sister Zobrist. On the 2nd of October, 1998, the mission hymn was composed by a missionary council. 
The hymn was based on a folklore tune of the Rio Grande do Sul, Noites Gaúchas, meaning Nighttime Gaúchos. Sob o céu deste sul do Brasil. I arrived in Fortaleza, Brazil. We taught a few families. There were a few young adults who went to church. Elena, Ana, and Savio Lignati. Many missionaries had already taught his family. When I arrived, we found this out. I was anxious to baptize them, knowing that none were members. So my companion and I went to work. We visited them many times. The missionaries had given them many discussions. During this time, I received a sad letter. It was possibly the saddest day of my life. My oldest brother, Felipe, wrote me a letter telling me that my brother Modesto passed away. My companion and I left that very same day to visit the Lignati's family. We had invited them many times to be baptized, hoping that we could receive permission to baptize their children. I bore my testimony to them, and Brother Lignati's responded, Through the feelings I feel right now, and by these feelings, everything is clear to me. I know that it is all true, I know that this church is true. I cannot be baptized at this moment, but because of this experience, my oldest children are authorized to be baptized into the church. On the 27th of August, 1978, President Linares was baptized. And in the year 1986, he and Sister Linares were married. They created a family of three, Alexandre, Livia, and Vivian. On the 3rd of July, 2001, President Domingos Savio Linhares arrived to preside in the Brazil Santa Maria Mission. They received a warm welcome from the Gaúcho people, que a grande obra já começou and arrived to a beautiful apartment known as the Mission Home. President Linhares accustomed quickly to churrasco, a Brazilian barbecue, as did Sister Linhares and their children, Alexandre, Livia, and Vivi. President Castro was called as first counselor to President Linhares, and President Pinheiro was called a second counselor. A coroa nos espera do vencedor Vamos conquistá-la com valor Starting at 6.30 a.m. every morning, the missionaries wake up to a glorious new day. They study the scriptures, eat a good balanced meal of toast and cereal in their very clean kitchen. When they have time, they work out and polish their shoes and do other ordinary tasks. At 9.30 sharp, they leave their house and walk, walk, and walk. Once a week, they get together for a good game of volleyball while the assistants work on transfers, transfers, and transfers. The missionaries get to know many, many people.
Besides polishing their shoes or playing a game of volleyball, the missionary's greatest joy is to teach the truthfulness of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people they come to love, the Gaúcho people. Nunca testifiquei do Salvador Eu não sabia o que dizer Mas se meu coração é puro Tendo prontas minhas mãos Ele me promete que a voz encontrarei. After the discussions and messages were given, and after the missionary started visiting our home, and we started going to church every Sunday, many paths opened in our life, and our spiritual life changed dramatically. It was very interesting how the missionaries found me. I am very happy for this because I had two opportunities. Porque guardar meus dons para mim, se eu posso ajudar alguém, sou testemunha do seu grande amor. I know that missionary work is so important in a person's life, as well as the families. I know that all families need the missionaries in their homes. Pois tudo que sou é por causa do amor pelo Salvador. President Linares and Sister Linares have served the Lord here in the heart of the South for three years. Their dedication and love have influenced every missionary who has walked the cobblestone streets of the South, influencing many, many people of this great land. Missionary work is very gratifying to see the face of every person feeling their happiness and joy. Missionaries are brothers to me. In all the world, they are in all four corners teaching the gospel of our Savior. I don't think there are words that could express it. Agora, eis que uma obra maravilhosa está para iniciar se entre os filhos dos homens. Portanto, ó vós que embarcais no serviço de Deus, pede que se vá de todo o coração, poder, mente e força, para que vos apresentei sem culpa para de Deus no último dia. Cuidado, se Deus e Deus e Deus, sois chamados ao trabalho. Porque eis que o campo já está branco para a sede. Eis que aquele que lança sua coisa e com vigor faz reserva, de modo que não perece. 
mas traz salvação à sua alma. E fé, esperança, caridade e amor. Os olhos feitos da glória de Deus qualificam no para o trabalho. Tem graves a fé? Da virtude, do conhecimento, do temperança, da paciência, da bondade fraternal, da piedade, da caridade, da humildade, da diligência. Pedi e receberei. Padre, e seremos abertos. Amém! The very first step in returning to our Heavenly Father is to become baptized, as was our Savior Jesus Christ, so we can receive forgiveness for our sins and become clean and pure as He is. Through a prophet called by our Savior, the truth that was lost has been restored in our day. Records of the truthfulness of the Gospel have been translated, recalling history of righteous men and women who stood up for what they believed and fought for their freedom. Our Savior Jesus Christ still lives, and He has called a living prophet today, in our time, to prepare us for the second coming of our Savior and Redeemer. Missionaries around the world today are teaching the principles and ordinances that were taught by the apostles of old beginning with that first step, baptism. Each man, each woman, each child, each individual here on earth is a child of our Heavenly Father. Each and every missionary comes to love these brothers and sisters with all their heart and strive to pass that happiness they have to them.
But, as time has it, there is an end. An end to the experiences. But there is not an end to the joy and love a missionary gains through serving our Master Jesus Christ. The hardest part is waving goodbye. Hoping, knowing that such love and such joy will never die.